Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Srishti and I upcycle old clothes and give them a new life. So if you're interested in upcycling and stitching content, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So I found this t-shirt about three years back while I was fabric shopping for my graduation project in Tirupur. It instantly caught my eye because of the color and the embroidery. I felt it was super cute. My plan initially was to make a 90s inspired cropped polo with sleeves. These are some of the inspiration pictures, but I felt it will look better without the sleeves. So this is the crop top I'm going to use as a guide. I pin the front for more accuracy and then match the shoulder seams and mark the side seam. And then I mark the armhole points as well, after which I also mark the hem. I used a French curve to mark the armhole. And then I'm just cutting it out, leaving 1cm allowance. And then lining this piece on the other side and using it as a stencil to mark the armhole and side seam. And then cutting it out. Here I was supposed to leave 1 inch for hem and cut it, but it simply slipped out of my mind. So the length was a little bit shorter than what I expected. Anyway, with the leftover fabric, I cut 4 strips, which were 1 inch wide. Then I turned the crop top inside out and stitched along the side seams with a triple straight stitch. After it was stitched, I trimmed the armhole a little and used it to cut the other side. Next, I'm pinning the strips to the armhole, leaving 1cm at the bottom to join it while stitching. Repeated the same for the other side and stitch the bottom of the piping first and then stitch the armholes and piping together. Once I was done with that, I folded the piping with the seam inside and folded it again and then pinned it and it should look something like this. Then I stitched it with a straight stitch. And this is how it should look like. Now that both armholes are done, let's move on to the hem. As I said earlier that I accidentally cut 1 inch a little above. So I first finished the raw edges with overlock stitch and then folded the hem and stitched it. Once I was done with that, I made a parallel stitch about 0.2 inches above. I made that stitch to create the professional looking flat lock stitch effect. Lastly, I ironed the front and back. After ironing, I tied it on and I felt I should add a stitch on the placket. So I marked a diagonal line and then stitched it. And this is the completed top. And this is the before and after. I love the way it turned out. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this transformation. Thank you for watching. Bye.